Could you please teach me about bolts today? No problem. Do you have a question about bolts? How long should a bolt go into an internal thread? Some say. It's okay, if a bolt goes three thread pitches. But others say. Bolt depth should be at least 1.5 times of the bolt diameter. There may be other opinions. Which opinion is correct? Three thread pitches theory? 1.5 theory? Or another theory? And why? It depends on the situation. For example, you have to think about the strength of a bolt. The material that has threads, is also an important factor. Did you know that there are some kinds of load, and that affects- Excuse me? I can understand what you would like to say, but actually, I'm not going to listen to the detailed theory. Really? That's nice. I don't like talking about details. So, is it okay for you if I talk about the general theory? Yeah. I like to study general things. That cannot be complicated, right? Okay, I understand. First off, I'm going to talk about how a bolt gets broken. We are seeing a bolt fastening parts. Let's say. An over large force is applied to the bolt. What do you think will happen to the bolt? I guess that the bolt will get broken. Right. By the way. The remaining broken bolt in the thread, has to be removed, and you have to change it with a new bolt, right? But. How can you remove it? Well. I would bring a sharp strong stick, and, hit it with a hammer, at the edge of the broken face, so that the bolt can loosen. Do you think it will work? Yeah, that's one way of removing a broken bolt in a thread, but actually, there are less chances, for you to remove the broken bolt that way. You are in luck, if you remove it like that. If you try that way and you cannot remove it, you can try this way. You drill a hole, at the center of the broken bolt. After that, you bring a tool, called an extractor, and then you insert it into the hole you drilled. An extractor has reverse threads, so, if you turn the extractor counterclockwise, you can loosen the broken bolt. I didn't know that way. The way sometimes cannot remove a broken bolt. If that unfortunately happens, you'll have a hard time to remove it. That's why, the first thing you have to do, when you see a broken bolt is... You are going to teach me an ultimate technique, right? To pray. You need to pray that the bolt can loosen with an extractor. Let's go back to our topic. In the case of a bolt gets broken like this, we can call it tensile failure, because a tensile force broke in the bolt. I'll show you a different type of how a part gets broken. As you can see, the depth of a bolt is shallow this time. How do you think the bolt gets broken, if an over large force is applied to the bolt? I feel that the bolt will not get broken, but the internal thread will get broken. Right. The way of how a part gets broken, is different from the way we saw a while ago. What happened this time, is called shear failure, because a shear force broke in the internal thread. If a bolt goes into an internal thread deeply, tensile failure happens. If it's shallow, shear failure happens. I understood that bolt depth affects how a structure gets broken. Shear failure shifts to tensile failure, 
if a bolt goes into a thread over a certain length, right? But how long is the length? If bolt depth is longer than the length, the internal thread will not get broken, because the bolt itself gets broken earlier, then the internal thread gets broken. That's why, to know the length of wind shear failure shifts to tensile failure, is important. It should be the minimum length, that bolt depth can have. That may be a good idea. I'll roughly estimate the length. The process will be displayed for about 10 seconds. Please check it out. According to the rough estimation, if bolt length is 0.4 times longer, than the bolt diameter, shear failure will not occur. It's much less than I expected. Yeah, it's very short. By the way, the length of 0.4 times of a bolt diameter, is almost the same as the length of three threads pitches. I see. I didn't know that three thread pitches theory has a reason. So, in conclusion, can I say that it's okay if a bolt goes three thread pitches? Let's say you are designing a thin part like this, and you are considering whether you should make a thread, or you should use another way, to attach a small part. I think it's okay if you make a decision like this. I'm just going to attach a very light part, and a big accident will not occur, if the light part drops. Okay, I'll make a thread, because I can make at least three thread pitches. However, basically, you must not use three thread pitches theory. The theory doesn't have a margin of strength. And also, it is just roughly estimated in the first place. Considering safety a little, you should at least double, 0.4. Actually, 0.8 times of a bolt diameter, is almost equal to the height of the nut. It makes sense. It's common to fix parts with a bolt in a nut like this. Then, can we say that bolt depth is at least 0.8 times of the bolt diameter? Well, I cannot say for sure, because it's not that a nut guarantees like the thread will never get broken. Do you mean that we have to calculate bolt depth depending on the situation, every time when we design a part that has threads? I wish I could do it, but a new machine would never been completed if I did it. I can agree with you, but what should we do? If there are no concerns about the strength of a thread, the idea of inserting a bolt at least 1.5 times of the bolt diameter, is widely adopted. 1.5 times of a bolt diameter, is approximately equal to, double length of the height of the nut. I see. We should insert a bolt, at least double length of the nut. I thought that 1.5 theory is just a rule of thumb. Now I know that the theory has a reason. By the way, you said a while ago that a bolt should be inserted, at least 1.5 times of the bolt diameter, if there is no concerns, right? What kind of concerns should we raise? For instance, we must not use 1.5 theory when bolts support main forces of a machine, because the bolts are supposed to support a heavy load. And also, we should be careful to decide the length of bolt depth, when the forces applied to the bolts are repeated load, because we have to consider metal fatigue. In addition to that, when a material that has threads is weak, we must not use 1.5 theory. How can we decide the length of bolt depth, when we have concerns like what you said? 
If you don't know how to decide the length of bolt depth, you can call a company specialized in bolts, and you say like, I'd like to use bolts in this condition. Could you please select or design a good bolts? And then you can purchase the bolts, from the company. That's a good idea. Sounds easy. Not so easy, because you have to understand the reason why the bolt company chose the bolts. Do you have other questions? So, in conclusion. If I don't have any concerns about a thread, the bolt depth should be at least 1.5 times longer than the bolt diameter. If a load applied to a bolt is small, the bolt depth can be 0.8 times of the bolt diameter. If a load applied to a bolt is almost zero, the bolt depth can be three thread pitches. Am I right? It depends on the situation. You have to think about the strength of the bolt. And also, the material that has the threads is an important factor. Did you know that there are some kinds of load and that affects enough? A bolt seems like a simple part, but it has still been kept on researching. I'm afraid that I can't specify how to decide bolt depth, but I'd be glad, if this video can help you a little, if you are at a loss about how to decide bolt depth.